Journeyman. Hey, it's Tuesday. What happened? What happened to Monday? Well, life happened and there was a lot of stress and unresolved issues that had to be worked out. So let's talk about it. I just woke up working on my coffee. <sighs> All right, so let me just back up a little bit. Let's go to Saturday. The scoot out was good. Had my best performance thus far as far as power. Averaged 280 watts for my 20 minute uh, pool that I did. So that's moving forward. Sunday, I had an hour and 15 minute run in the rain. That's good. Then later on that day, I climbed Mount Lemmon for two hours in the rain. Also good. Yesterday, I had a 3,500, which actually was a 4,000 meter workout. That was my first 4,000 meter workout since training with uh, my new coach, Jesse Valachek. Felt really strong, felt really good. As I mentioned, December 10th is the first culminating event of the Journeyman Triathlon Journey under Coach Valachek in top step training. It's a super, I think it's a super sprint or a sprint. 400 meter swim, 12 mile bike, and then a three mile run. And then I gotta send over my race plan to him today. And yeah, I'm feeling really confident on the on all across my disciplines. I'm feeling confident in my training that I've done given the distance of this race. I think it's going to be a good showing for me regardless of the result. I think I'm going to do well. I think the power that I'm able to hold now and I'm I'm proud of that. I'm proud of how far I've come in the past freaking year since I've been, I mean, the past, how many days? 210 days now. So I'm super proud of that. Progress have been made, boys and girls. So we're gonna rip out the old GT bike for that one. Uh, we don't have a bike fit on it yet, but I've been talking to the MAN and he told me to freaking slam the seat forward and slam the bars back to create the most aerodynamic position uh, given the lack of funds coming in so we're just gonna have to roll with that I got a a pop-on disc wheel I don't know if I want to use it but we might I don't know we'll see looks cool it's from wheelbuilder.com it hasn't been used I got it in a trade for some three CO2 air canisters from a guy or from a gal off of Facebook Marketplace. So, who knows? I might use it. I'll probably take a picture of it. All right, what else we have? Setbacks, they happen. Happened to me multiple times. Let's talk through it. Let's see the lesson. And more importantly, let's remain calm about stuff because when you remain calm about stuff, you can critically think through it rather than pushing the panic button. <laughs> My life's going crazy. The Mazda B3000 broke down. The house that I thought I was gonna get, we didn't get because the seller's agent lied to us and they didn't sign the contract and we signed the contract and now we canceled plans for Christmas because we didn't have enough money to close on the house. And a life's in chaos. That's the panic button noise. Right, so long story short, we thought we had a house in Maryland, my wife and I. As, we, as you guys know, my wife lives in Maryland. I live in Tucson because I am on this 
crazy fitness journey to become a pro and this is this is outlining the um emotional roller coaster the ups and downs of sucking in triathlon in the beginning so or sucking at all three disciplines <laughs> there you go that's what that is uh, we we thought we had a house. It was our dream, not our dream house, but it was, you know, the dream house for Maryland. 2,400 square feet of just all-out goodness. The house is redone, built in 1955. 2,475 square feet, five bedrooms, four baths, three across three levels. <laughs> Basement, mm, complete. Fresh kitchen, fresh rooms, fresh Flooring, tile, backsplash, the whole works. So we were super pumped up, right? And what happened was we got all the paperwork. Our real estate agent sent us the paperwork. We sign it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We counter them with an offer. They say, nah. And we agree upon the original offer. So I'm like, cool. We definitely have it now because they countered our offer. You know, that means you know, stuff's in the works. And what actually happened was the following. Homeboy, meaning the seller real estate agent, lied to us the entire time to lengthen the amount of time to get in more offers and didn't tell, I'm assuming, I mean, this dude's moral compass is fucking so backwards, it's, facing him he didn't tell the sellers that of his little mischievous freaking actions that he was doing to get more offers and the seller unbeknownst to them assuming this is me assuming a lot unbeknownst to them they went with the highest offer which you can't blame them for that but we were under the impression we had the house, right? So once we were under the impression we had the house, you know, money is a thing. So it was going to cost us a roughly 4% to put down on the house, which is around 13, something like that, thousand, which I don't know about you guys, but we don't have $13,000 to be shoveling out. Oh, here you go. We don't have $13,000 to sh be shoveling out five times or, you know, we have 13,000 to say, hey, we'll give it to you, but we expect a house in return, right? So that didn't happen. And before that happened, let's take it back back seat to that information we're in the back seat now chilling and my wife and i were like you know what we have to sacrifice if we want this house that's fine we had a conversation the conversation went like this honey i can't afford to go home on christmas we're just gonna have to i'm just gonna have to train through christmas period so we canceled my flight to freaking Maryland, under the impression that we had to save money to combat the stress of moving, right? So that's fine. I'll give, I'll sacrifice Christmas, not being with my wife, to close on this house because at the end of the day, it's a house. It's in a developing area. It's going to go up a buku amount of money in the next few years which will be in Maryland. Um, it's 2,400 square feet. Like what? It's nice. It's redone. It has a backyard. It has a finished basement. Blah, 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 blah. Right? So we canceled my flight. So that was a whole setback right there. And then I get the information yesterday when I was swimming. My real estate agent tells me, hey, call me. So I call her. She tells me the news. I'm in the pool and I'm like, I'm lucky I did something hard today because 
If I didn't, this would have been the hardest piece of information that I would have taken in and it would have bothered me a lot. So how's that for a setback on the journey? <laughs> so we're still looking for a house to close it out. We're still looking for a house and in Maryland. And that's just part of life, dude. Congratulations. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do when people are assholes? You just keep training. Mindset. 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 Attitude. Also, I found this cool bracelet in the gym they were handing it out and I felt like it was fitting for me. It says grind with the dude in a wheelchair. And it has no excuses on the back. So that's pretty cool, considering I am disabled. I mean, I am, technically. I have a freaking broken-ass spine. I just don't look like it because I'm overzealous in my comeback story. You guys will find out one day. It's okay. All right, well, what happened, Christian? What about your, um, your, sal your class? Well... I've learned a new topic, so let's talk about it. I don't know if I've learned a new topic, but I've definitely um, started understanding a little bit more about the following cells and cell membranes. What? All right, so cells are, let me grab a pen because I can best illustrate my thoughts through Illustrations with paper, or in this case, sticky notes, since there are abundance of them. All right, we're going to do a quick sesh, and then we got to get out of here because it's 12 minutes, and I said in the original videos, but you guys don't watch anyway, so it's fine. 10 minutes is the standard, but it's okay. All right, cell membranes. Let's talk about them. What are they? How do they function? What are they made up of? Actually, I don't even need to do this. I have a. Yep. 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 Came prepared. Hold on. I know this is the most important part of the, the thing. I wrote it out so you guys don't have to. It's okay. You want to learn about cell membranes? Here we go. Cell membranes and cell walls. Cell walls is plants. Animal cells like you and I, unless you're an ant plant watching this, you could have a cell wall. We have cell membranes. Christian, what is a cell membrane? A cell membrane is a semi-permeable, meaning sometimes it, stuff can go through, sometimes it can't. It has like a selective hearing type thing, like selective passing through type thing. Also, its main building blocks of the cell membrane is a phospholipid. So if you guys know what a lipid is, it's kind of like a fat, you know, like one of these. And then what is a phospholipid made of? It kind of looks like a balloon like this. Looks like this. And the, this is called a phospho head group right here. And this is on the extracellular side, meaning the outside. And there's also one on the inside or the intracellular side. So this is a phospho head group. This is the glycerol backbone holding the two fatty acid tails coming down. Right. So interesting note about the phospho head group is it's hydrophilic, meaning it's water loving or polar. And the two tails, fatty acid tails, are hydrophobic, meaning they're scared of water, right? They don't want anything to do with it. They don't like it at all. So when you have a molecule that has both hydrophilic and hydrophobic combined, it's called a ampo 
Philic. Did I say that right? Yeah. Big. Ampophilic. I probably pronounce I probably butchered the pronunciation of the word, so sorry guys. Somebody correct me in the comments. But what we have here. Right here is the cell as an example is there's H2O oh, right here H2O and H2O meaning there's water in your body always because you know we're majority of our body's made up of water if you didn't know now you know ninja all right quick example quick example sorry All right, so this goes around in a circle like this, basically. On the outside are the phosphohead groups along the circle, and on the inside is the fatty acid tails on both sides, right? What this area is called, right here, is called the phospholipid bilayer. And that's a crude example, of course. And it actually looks like this. Looks like a circle because inside is a nucleus and you know, all the, I'll get into that's a separate video. All right, so what's interesting about the extracellular side and the intracellular side? Okay, so fossil head groups love small nonpolar molecules passing through like gas and CO2 and O2. And this is, this process is called passive diffusion or going through the fossil head group because there's itty bitty spaces between these fossil head groups that gases can just go through super easy. Um, it also likes small polar or it doesn't like small polar like H2O and ethanol. It can go through, right? Selective, semi-permeable but it's gonna go through slower because they're polar. They're not nonpolar, but they're still small. So large nonpolar like benzene, again, we're gonna let you through. That's what the head group says, but it's gonna go through very slow. It's, it doesn't really like it too much, but you can come through. So what about large polar? The reason why large nonpolar, it's nonpolar, meaning it can come through but it's large and we don't like you. So just, it's kind of like a, when you walk through a saloon and people look at you and you have to walk slow and everyone's like, that's what I imagine the, the, the fatty acid tails doing. Just looking at them like, what are you doing, bro? Get out of here. All right, so let's talk about large. It doesn't like large and it doesn't like polar. So like glucose molecules. That's a no-no. We're gonna talk through that in the next video. And what about charged, like ions? Denied, again. So large polar and charged, you ain't getting through, son. Not like this. So that's all I have for Monday, but it's actually Tuesday, so sorry guys. And it was ran super long, but we're learning about cells and stuff. Who doesn't want to watch the journeyman butcher his knowledge about cell membranes? So stick around. Oh, last thing. Randy and I took a challenge, and my wife, actually. We're doing a seven-day challenge, giving up something that bothers us, uh, something that will make us better, something that we're doing that we're not supposed to be doing. His was... He's giving up this amazing Mexican restaurant that he eats at every day for lunch. I'm giving up carbonated water, which I don't see the downside of drinking, but I will do it for you, Randy. And my wife is giving up a sh processed sugar for seven days. So if you guys want to start the challenge with us, comment below what you're giving up. And it starts today. Um, good luck. We are now approaching 20 minutes, so I'll leave you guys off with this. 
The race is coming. The race is coming. Love you guys. Journeyman out.